everyone, and welcome to another episode of Halo Wars! Today, we've got two games, both interesting in their own right. First one up, we've got uh, something I like to call an incredibly cheesy game. It is, well, you'll see. We have two Covenants on my team, and I am the UNSC. Uh, this is a 4D map. It's it's probably the most popular map that I see on Halo Wars, just because it allows so many different ways that a match can go. You can turtle up and do a match that lasts for five hours, or you can rush and use the teleporters. And just in this one, what we got, Broadly, Cthulhu. We've got some players that I've seen a lot uh, around in uh, the Halo Wars community uh, that I'm kind of a part of, I suppose. I, I, I dive in a little bit here and there, um, but it's hard to really be a part of a community when it's so small. <laughs> it's not really community, it's a bunch of people. Anyway, uh, so we are going to be doing the cheesiest thing I had ever seen. I didn't go into this thinking that I was going to help out with this cheese, but I receive instruction. Uh, we'll just... Uh, Ignore what he said there. Uh, <laughs> blur it! Blur at the bottom! Blur it, Jim! No! <laughs> uh, so, they decide to go for Rush. I mean, they're both Covies. It's something I was expecting. So, I decided... Oh, yeah, <laughs> he thought that he had lost his Brute Chieftain and then realized he'd locked this thing up. I think a normal strategy is to get your Brute Chieftain up and then lock your base so that the Brutes and the other units you make don't instantly come out and they might get rammed Local by units. a chopper or a warthog. And that way, you I think you lose an instant Brute if you've got two Brutes uh, in your squad and then it gets rammed. One dies instantly, so that, that's not good. So I see that these two are both rushing the Covey yeah, player. Complete. That's what they fled early. So Local I decide units. to go for a reactor sec no, third. Which, really, I should have went second, but it doesn't really make too much of a difference. I wanted to units. get as many Warthogs as possible to just help out with this rush that they've got going. And it's a strategy that, you know, happens a lot All on this units. map. If you see two or... Heavens, heavens to Betsy! You see three Covenant on the other team. Be Local prepared. Units. If they don't rush you... They're doing something wrong. If, if, they're, if you're all uh, UNSC Research. and their Covenant... And I see exactly the strategy from this guy. He's placed his chopper ready for those brutes to come out. But they managed to... Or we managed to kill the chopper before it has a chance to ram them. And that, that's a good strategy. is just to wait by the teleporter to stop them from teleporting in their brutes. Because brutes do so much freaking damage. And it, it, it sort of irks me that this game... All doesn't units. seem All to units. want to update. I mean, it, it's a, it's an old game, but just like Age of Empires 2, you know, this received a definitive edition just like that Any game, and I would love to see All an units. update. Something come out for it, but, you know, it's it's up to Microsoft whether they do it or not. The, the team that made it, Ensemble Studios, no longer exists, so it would be interesting. So here you can see, I know what's going to happen here. I need to support these guys as much as possible. So I bring my Warthogs in here just to, you know, lay waste to the other Warthogs that are going to try and help out here. So at the moment, it seems like the rush is going over pretty well. All I need to do is just focus on getting as many Warthogs out as possible. I, I don't really need to go for a second base because as long as we manage to take out that other player... It's, two, it's 3v2, and at that point, I think it's pretty much one. So I see this is a 500 supply reactor coming up, and it's something that we need to take care of. But I think I also see the turret, but yeah, I, I decided to get as much damage on that as possible. He doesn't waste any resources there, so he recycles his turret. But here you go, just two brute chieftains hammering away at Purple's base. And Purple, you know, does his best here, and I see some brutes that are trying to teleport around. I, I didn't ram them. That was very silly of me. I could have, I could have done this. But I know I, I don't want to be stuck in a place for too long because that Brute Chieftain, I think his is upgraded, the enemy. And if he vortexes me, he's, he's he could kill so many of my Warthogs. So I kind of... Yeah, there you go. Like, oh! <laughs> just get out of there. Keep moving. You've just got to keep moving. That's the name of the game here. So Red and Cyan Brutes are as. And it's just about stripping the base. 
at this point. He's He has upgraded his brute because he stuns. Look at that. He's stunning the cyan brutes up there. And at this point, you know, I'm making too many resources for my warthog. So I might as well just spend those resources. Make them work for me. And oh, no, I lose three warthogs there. That, that's not so good. But for the trade-off, you know, that's fine. He's, he's wasted 600 resources for like a 450. But at this point, I would argue that's worth it. Just to try and alleviate some of the pressure on their Kovi player. And then we get another tank coming. I, I've just got Warthogs one by one rolling in here to just do as much damage as possible. And now it seems like the Covenant players... And I'm gonna go, I'm gonna grab, I'm gonna grab, I'm like, hey, wait, as long as we kill this brute, that's it. And the brute is down. An upgraded brute from purple. It is not looking good at all. But at the same time, it's not looking good for us. He's upgraded to Citadel, so that gives his main base more health, so it's tougher. That's a good call. You probably should have done that earlier, but I don't know. Maybe it wouldn't have made too much of a difference. So I decided to go for the Mac Blast just to try and do some damage to it. But because it's upgraded, it really kind of shrugs that off. And it doesn't do too much damage. But we still have the Cyan and the Red Brute here hammering away. I don't know if they're still dropping in Brutes. I'm not too sure. But there we go. I go for the Ram. We kill one. And I, it's so close. It's so close. So I don't decide to Ram that other Brute. I probably should have. Because I think he's just going to kill that Warthog. But my main prerogative here is just to try and take this base down. And it's so close. The cheese is real. The Banshees are coming in unupgraded from the Brute. Just, just to get them here as quickly as possible. Not to waste any time. And there it is. The purple base goes down. And he's on a timer now. So unless he gets clicked by his friends. And hopefully they've got another base for him. Enemy he's engaged. he's in a very tricky situation. He's up to the UNSC players Supply to help him out. Upgraded. And one of them, I think green, went for tanks. All I don't know units. what orange one is going for, but that shows a, a somewhat of a good economy. For me, however, I think I've just specced into... I, I wouldn't even say I've specced, really. It's just I've laid down the supporting fire. I've got warthogs, but I am forge. I th at least I think I was Forge. So I should... Oh, no, I'm not. I'm Cutter. Of course, I cut the Mac Blast. <laughs> Stupid beaver. Uh, you're an idiot. <laughs> so there we go. He, he knows he's on a time. But if he loses a, a, his last unit, that's it. And he is defeated with that last, last brute defeated. And now it leaves me and the rest of our team to just clean up here. I decide to go for a second base because why not? I don't want to destroy any supply pads. And luckily there, I mean, does it really matter at this point? Probably not. But I, I thought I'd save my uh, Warthog from being destroyed by rebels. And there you go. Proper pro plays there. I think we can all agree. Amazing. Amazeball. Awesome possum. Uh, <laughs> so we've still got, you know, we've got some... some some... I can't even think of the word. We've got, we've got some threat coming. There we go. We've got some threat coming through from green. But we got our Covenant players. And I do drop the Healy there on him. Because, I, I I mean, it's it's basically what I'm doing is playing support here. I don't have anything in the pipeline. I've got no production. So I'm here for support. I will give them resources if they need it. And I will heal their Brute Chieftain if they need it too. I will, however, I, I mean, at this point, yeah, I think I decide, like, this, this is taking far too long. I could probably at least get something out, get some tanks, because I have so many resources. I suppose I could keep going for brutes, or oh, sorry, not brutes, I could go for warthogs and upgrade them to grenadier. But against those scorpion tanks, I need gorse. I need something that at All least units. it's gonna hold up against regular tanks, but knowing... The green player, he's probably going to go for canister shell. And yeah, look at that. We've got Wolverines coming through. He tries to get the base. Vehicle and that's like complete. quick, easy 500 resources Local gone. Units. So Local shattering uh, Forge's you know, economy lead that he gets yeah. there just by losing that. And at this point, it's, it's very hard. 
it is very hard for them to stop the the yeah, snowball effect too. of the coveys with the banshees just roaming around denying bases. I do a canny Local down units. tech here very late yeah. in the game, but you know we 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 have strategies. And three unupgraded tanks come through from yellow, which is interesting because at this point green. I think Green is the higher ranked player, so he probably has a better idea of what he's doing. Green has Wolverines, he's got tanks. If Yellow copied this tactic, I think it might have been more worrying. Especially for me, a guy who literally has nothing on the field at the moment, except for a few Warthogs. Vehicle depot. So there we go. I'm just going to try and pump out some uh, tanks. I see him going into the middle. He's probably going to teleport out. I don't know why I, I go in here. I don't have Grenadier. <laughs> I think I'm just trying to stop him from teleporting. And he doesn't even get through. Bless him. He tried. I think maybe he was distracted. Maybe Green flagged up something. Green keeps on trying to take the base in the middle. I think knowing that it's the safer of the bases to take. And he must have enough um, enough resources to know that, well, if, it, if the base gets destroyed at this point, it's pretty easy. I am... Um, actually very surprised that they are at all staying in. I think once one player goes down and there's a 3v2 and it's quite early on in the game, I probably would have resigned if, that, if I was them at this point because th there's no way of winning against this. At least, I, I mean, there probably is. Who am I to judge? But good on them for sticking it out. But once I start getting these tanks out, they've got banshees in the air just screaming around everything, stopping them from expanding, keeping their army quite low. And then I can just rock up with canister shell tanks and just, you know, canister down anything if I want to. And instead of going for a second base, the scorpions are just eating into my resources, which I would rather do than have that extra base. But, you know, the option was there, especially when I had so many resources. And because <laughs> there's a lot of supplies just lying around and I've got warthogs, I'm like... <laughs> <laughs> I'm not above picking up pennies from the floor. <laughs> I'll take them. Every little helps. Ah, it's living in a world with Tesco. That's what that is. Anyway, uh, so, so uh, I send like a, a couple of warthogs through. And you can see on the minimap that they are just laying waste to Yellow's base, to, to Green's base, keeping his units at his base to stop the, um, the Banshees. But it's not going to help. I think I saw somebody say they had repeating cannon. I think that was Cyan. And the only thing that they could really go for here is Wolverines. I think if they each went for Wolverines, maybe like three tanks. If, if the, you know, if the opportunity presents itself, they could go for Spartan tanks. But at this point, it's not looking good. I think the writing's on the wall for them. At least it is for me. I can I can see that we've won this pretty easily. And I'm very close to full pop on canny tanks. And I I think I'd be surprised if they had rotation turrets. But also at the same time not. Because I don't think Green's lost much of his military. And judging by how many times he's tried to take the base, he has a plethora of resources. And he could easily click up to a double reactor on both his reactors, I would assume, and that would give him uh, the extra rotation turrets. So I'm just sending my tanks around, cleaning up the bases, freeing up the supplies for my warthogs to just nip around and take them. Uh, and we're going to see some amazing pathfinding here from my warthogs and tanks who just can't seem to figure out how to get past each other. <laughs> Oh, God. But there we go. You know, I, I only have one base, Local but units. we're getting we're getting extra resources, and that's all going to help. We've max pop now at this point. Green again tries to take that middle base. He's determined to expand, but the Banshees rock up. He either deletes it or they just instantly fuel rod it down. And there we go. I see that Green hasn't even done Caster Shell at this point. He probably has volley on his wolverines, knowing that... And then, there they go! Oh, God! Just... I rock up finally. Better late than never. And I think Green knows it's pretty much over. He puts his wolverines at the back of the base, which is what you kind of want to do. You want to put wolverines at the back of your base to protect those reactors. But also, at the same time, 
There is no way for them to escape now. Local units. If I was clever and set my tanks around the other way. But I don't think I did that. So I might just follow them around. <laughs> and then there you go. I don't think that was a, a normal destruction from us. I think Yellow just self-destructed his base. And not wanting to be outdone, Green just instantly re like resigns. He's like, nah, all right, I'm not going to do it. And then the game, I think, glitches while I think Yellow just smashed his computer. I, I really don't know. I would imagine something like that probably happened. Oh, dear. Or someone quits. Oh, no, there we go. There we go. Just a little bit of a lag. And even more Banshees coming in. And it's a matter of just... The best part of the game, this is when Phase 3 or 4 comes into it, where Yellow decides to hide. Just to prolong the game as long as possible. It's part of every good RTS, the hide-and-seek element. And it's great for the, for the person who's been defeated or is going to lose because it gives them a chance to um, get sort of a revenge to make the winners have to play for another minute <laughs> and it's also nice for the winning team because it's 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 a little bit of a game and there you go warthog taken out and i think that might be the last one Local although units. apparently it's not there is one more unit or a couple more units i think maybe it's a warthog there's something over here yeah oh it's the wolverine he's like sod it <laughs> i will i will attack your base and another map blast to get me Maybe one kill, possibly two there. Your team is and that is it. GG's, GG's. I think that was the fastest I think I've seen a player get defeated, but Brute Chieftain is a nightmare. And on to our second game. Another 3v3. We, I think I see a recruit there, so... Oh, okay, this is going to be interesting. But I think that was a fun game, seeing that strategy. That strategy should be banned. I think, all you know, units. when all players just go straight up... <laughs> on one it's very hard especially when they're both brutes they're incredibly tanky they can teleport in their own brutes at that stage Enemy there needs to be communication from the other team because otherwise it's going to be incredibly hard for anyone to stop that mlg players i don't know if they exist i'm sure they do on this game i'm, I'm definitely not one of them might be able to stand a chance. So here, this is... Local I remember units. this game now. Yes. So I think Red is a very Local good player. And I think they're playing as Anders. Please. And I think I'm Anders too. And I never really go for Warthogs. So I decide... Because he's got Flaming Warthogs. That, that's a sign of a pro. They got Flaming Warthogs. They're kind of a badass. I'm not going to lie. So I think I'd faced up against Knight Armor before. And I... I think I remember them being very good at Warthog rushing. So, maybe it's this game? I keep on checking. I check the build order. I check that he's, you know, <laughs> what he's doing. Because I, I want to improve my game. I don't care about losing as long as I improve. So, I'm like, okay, react to third. He's put it at the back, but I'm not going to put mine at the back. Because that would be stupid. If the game goes late, ODSTs come in or whatever. I I'm alright. I don't, I don't want to do that. So, this is the way I'm, I'm learning at the same time. There's a, this Local one's units. probably going to be a more even game. I just remember doing this bit. We got two UNSCs on each side, Local one units. Covenant. I think that's maybe the strongest yeah. team Four. composition. Local the two Covenants we fought before, like the last game, arguably could be better. It depends if they both communicate and they both rush the same player and I and the UNSC player helps out with clicking them or Reactor has complete. Warthogs too. Local units. The problem with Brutes is Brute um or sorry I should say the Brute Chieftain is Brutes are very expensive. Very, very expensive. 150 Enemy per and units. you know if, if they get rammed or that's that you know the attack is cut in half. So the DPS is really something Local you wanna units. you wanna be careful of. So in this game, I think I decide to go all water because I'm keeping Local an eye. I'm like, units. okay, what's he doing? Okay, yes, this is good. I always struggle. But if you go two supply pads, then a reactor, I it's like, do you go for four warthogs and then gunner, or do you go for five and then gunner? Because by the time the reactor goes up, supply it's pad. like, oh, you could have the fifth one halfway, or you could start gunner. So it's interesting. I, I, the, 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 there's minute Gunner strats. Research. 
in Halo Wars. <laughs> because there's not too much, you know, leeway with uh, things you can do. Because everything's pinned. If you didn't know, when this game was in concept, you were supposed to be able to place your base anywhere on the map. I thought that, uh, like, the possibilities with this game could have been endless. But I think they, they got bottlenecked at one point and this, the game is what we have. So because I'm going for Warthogs, I see what the other Anders player is doing. Uh, take, you take out the turret, go on one side, and if you don't have to, you know, take damage from a turret, then you don't have to. Like, just stay on that one side. Ram them if you needs be, and then get out of there before a turret attacks you. And I think you can attack through the base to the other one. So they've done a better job. They've got their expo starting to uh, get ready. And, you know, you've got great pressure here from the Covenant player. He's going to apply pressure onto the opponent to stop him rushing us, allowing us the time to get our economy up and running and really get some strong units out. And, yep, still haven't lost a Warthog. <laughs> I don't mind to toot my own horn. That's pretty good. Uh, and, of course, you want to pick up as many resources as possible here. A lot of his brutes are gone there. I think a disruption bomb was dropped by them. I don't think it was us. Uh, so that no more brutes could be dropped in. And I think the next course of action for our brute player is probably to go Banshees once this uh, once this is sort of stopped. And you can see Blue's gone for Warthogs. And Yellow, because he's Cutter, I think, because he had an elephant, he's deciding to support with Flamers, which isn't isn't a bad idea. Especially seeing as, you know, he went for that elephant, which is very expensive. And it's basically like making a barracks at the same time. So I don't think that was a bad play. Then again, I ain't an MLG player. So I'm just waiting for a few more resources. I haven't upgraded my pads yet. All units. So it's kind of a slow grind. And we'll see what's going on here. You've got the flamers attacking the brute. Yep, he's pushed them off. I mean, it's 3v1 there. And that brute player did precisely what he needed to do. And that was to stop them from rushing, keep them distracted, do All damage units. while we get our expos. And at this point, if we want to all go Warthogs, you're going to have 50, possibly, Gorse Warthogs running around your base. And even against, you know, unupgraded tanks or even upgraded. canister shell tanks, Gorse do a lot of damage. Firebase ready. So I send my Warthogs down here. Not one to waste, I quickly make... I hear that and I, uh, I make some supply pads on there. But I send my Warthogs down here to just help get more resources. I don't care about getting the barriers, you know. Some people do. Some people, you always run into that player that goes cutter and decides to go one strat. And that is ODSDs only. I will take the barriers. I will protect us. But by the time, you know, local units, anyone's got ODSTs, I think if you're against people who know what they're doing, they're not going to allow you to do that. They're not going to allow you to get up to ODSTs. And it's a lot of resources to plow in All for units. no military. All units. And you can make Marines, rocket Marines, possibly, but against Gorse or, you know, anything else, like a Brute Chieftain with loads of Brutes, you're not going to have that luxury. But either way, Enemy it's engaged. quite quiet on our, all our fronts, except for now we have the, uh, the Arbiter decides to come up and also some Flamers, which is very weird. And then he runs away. I, I really don't know what he was thinking was going to happen there. I think he was wanting to support the Arbiter, in case the Brute came to defend. So, I see that. I, maybe this is a bad call, but I decide to throw in... Uh, there we go. And actually, maybe it wasn't. Maybe it wasn't a bad call. And I think that was an enemy cryobomb. And it is completely screwed over the Arbiter, because he's frozen solid. And Yellow tries to support with a mag blast. So actually, you know what? No, that was good. That was good. And there you go. Arbiter down. That is the difference between a rush at the very start of the game and a rush that happens 10 or so minutes in. Difference there, night and day. I basically defended that myself. With Gunner, Warthogs, Arbiter comes in. Does a, does a little bit of damage with the suicides, but I think that could have been friendly fire. It could have been friendly fire from... Uh, from, I think, Blue. Thinking he would just freeze my Warthogs. 
It could have been communication breakdown. Or it could have been red, even. I, I think red is also uh, Anders. Either way, it was a good call. Because I managed to get my Warthogs out of the way. If we were in voice chat, I, you know, he could have said, I'm going to drop Cryo, you drop D-Bomb and get out of the way. <laughs> Who am I kidding? My, who plays this game seriously? <laughs> and here we go. Taking another base. I think mainly just to get the resources. Here we go. I spread them out. Just because, I don't know. We're going to collect them either way. And that is Grenadier coming through. Red has decided not to commit completely to the Warthogs. I think maybe I've lost one or two Warthogs at this point. I just see, like, yellow, talking global, going, uh-huh, 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 oh, yeah. <laughs> to whatever they're saying. They're probably telling them, why, why are you going for Marines? Please make tanks. He's like, okay. <laughs> And uh, yeah, they haven't even got their expos, or at least that one, which is normally one of the first ones to go. And because I have so many Warthogs and they've got upgrades on them, I decide to heal them. Because they're at this point in the game, you know, I have a few red bars and they could be one shot by an Arbiter who just runs in, rages them. And, you know, I put a lot of money into these. I think it's kind of worth it. The resources... 350 for the heal, as opposed to, you know, making more Warthogs. It's all about, it's all about the money. You've got to spend it wisely. And yes, purple starts to go for Banshees. I think that was the best play. I don't think Wraiths would have helped. Hunters, Hunters are a trap I see a lot of people fall into. And very rarely does it work out. I think Hunters are only good until they get Spirit Bond. And then kind of okay when they get, um... The beam. I can't remember what that's called. Assault beam, probably. Who knows? Anyway, he's decided to take that. And the Arbiter runs up again for a second try. All units. And this could be quite dangerous for Purple. Because he has no shield. And... Oh, he's wanting to take that out. So I'm asking for a D-bomb. Because if this Arbiter decides to rage... Uh, oh, wow. I think it's like three hits per. So that's actually not the best for him. And he decides to avoid it. He gets debombed anyway. And I need to keep him in here. I, I don't want him running away. I've got some. And he decides to actually not get out while he can. And maybe go for the summit. Which turns out to be an absolutely terrible decision for him. Because then I just go in and ramp, and then he can't get away. And then you've got all of these Warthogs shooting at him. And just like that, there we go. He gives three Warthogs a star, and he's dead. So, 800 resources wasted from the Arbiter play. But it's 400, because he bought it back once. And then I see that Red decides to have a little bit of a scout. See what he's going for. And just like a good cutter player, he's decided to take the middle. I think that, that, that's commendable. Well, well done. Well done. Great plays. I mean, really, Yellow, I think, should have went for tanks, but I like... To, you know, th this was a learning experience for me. I guess the tactic really is to switch into tanks and gremlins, but I don't really see too many uh, vehicles. I mean, Blue's the only one that's kind of getting vehicles at this point. But we're starting to really show our control, our map control. We've cleared out most of the bases. I'm starting to get tanks now. I'm waiting for Gorse to appear. And there you go. Just Anders. Anders with those cheap, quicker upgrades is just so OP. And because I don't really need the resources, I'm not upgrading a single reactor. If I really want to, I could down tech. But there's no point. Because at least I'll get canister shell. And canister shell's 200. It's a steal. Ah, oh, so good. And he's actually still making Warthogs, which is very interesting. But I guess he has goals, so it makes sense. I suppose Reds went for a different strategy to me. I went for numbers and then upgrades, but Red went for upgrades and then numbers. But luckily, the pressure hasn't been that much. And Vampires, good call from Cyan. Seeing that Purple's going for Banshees knowing that he can easily get some free kills. He's also upgraded a cryo bomb or stasis drain, sorry. So that's good. But vampires... Uh, if you get enough of them, they're good. 
But I'll be honest, against this many Gorse Warthogs, it's, uh, yeah. I mean, he sends them to the back of the base just to try and save them. And, uh, yeah, I'm, I, I don't know why I'm keeping that Scorpion back instead of sending it forward. I'm a bit worried about the way it's going to go, I think. So I'm just going to send all of the Gorse to the back in case a massive army from blue or, or yellow comes in. So that way, they kill Red before me. <laughs> but really, I see he's probably getting his Arbiter back, and we don't want any of that. So we're just going to take that down. I think he left that a little bit too late. He started getting his Arbiter back when the pressure was applied, <laughs> rather than just getting it back ASAP. So Cyan is pretty much done at that point. I think on their team... I don't know who was the biggest threat. I think possibly blue was. Saying that, though, I've just seen rotation turrets come out. Oh, no. No, never mind. I thought it was a rotation turret tank, but no, it was a Spartan tank. Uh, and then, yep, you've got purple switching into vampires. A nice call there to bait out the banshees and then be like, actually, I'll go for anti-air. Really, these, these battles turn into... UNSC goes for lots of tanks. And the Covenant player will go for Vampires. Just to stop the other Covenant player going for Banshees. I mean, a mix of some Wolverines in, in the uh, the mix-up in the roster is probably what you want for the UNSC player. But I think this guy, this yellow guy, didn't know exactly what he was doing. You've got like one tank with one spawn, unupgraded. And I think we've all been there. We've all been there when we've played this game and you think, oh, well, I'll just get all the upgrades. I'll get, you know, some some military. I'll, well, I say military. You'll get some marines, some hornets, some tanks. And that way, I've got all my bases covered, right? The game says that should be rock, paper, scissors. I've got everything. But really, if you just focus into one unit, like I have with the Gorse Warthogs, you will have an army and all upgrades at the same time. Did I see somebody get defeated there? I think... I think... Did Blue? No? I swear I just saw somebody get defeated there. Something popped up. Maybe I'm wrong. Oh, did somebody click me? Somebody might have given me resources. I'm not too sure. But yeah, you just... At this point, when it's only got one on... One supply, it just melts. It melts. And there we go. We've got our tanks going. Blue is now just protecting his expo. But at this point... Yeah. He resigns. He knows it. He sees it on the wall, writing on the wall, and decides to give it up. And there you have it. The cheesy one, and then a kind of a sort of rush one. Some fun games. Anyway, guys, if you want to see more Halo Wars, leave a like. And until next time, I'll see you guys later. Oh, bye-bye.